What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay, and today we're going to be taking a look at a game that falls into a genre that's sort of a guilty pleasure of mine, and that's the hunting simulator. I got hooked on hunting games from the PS2 era when Cabela's put out a game. It was like Cabela's Big Game Hunter, and I forget what year, because a lot of their games were like Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2007 or whatever. And this particular one was actually one of the better ones. Uh, it had windage, it had bullet drop, it had ATVs and trucks you could drive around, and you had to go out and bring back a trophy deer or whatever animal it was that you were out there hunting. And I loved it. It was so much fun. It really hooked me having to quietly stalk the animal for long periods of time and only for its spots you at the last second and you miss your shot and then have to start all over again. It was very intense. It was very adrenaline soaked. I really enjoyed it. And then there was, and there was also none of the guilt of actually shooting an animal in real life. So it was a win-win. And then as I got older, I actually got into hunting in real life and enjoyed hunting and eating whatever I killed. And I still hunt to this day. And our our garage chest freezer will be feel filled with uh, with venison meat. And it's something that I still enjoy. So I enjoy it in video games and I enjoy it in real life. However. While I enjoy them, it's very hard to find good hunting simulators. Really hard. Um, Cabela's games have been mostly misses, and there's been a few other people who have put out hunting games that are subpar, or maybe you'll find a good hunting game, but the graphics are terrible. I can deal with that, but it's nice to have good graphics too when you're playing. And then there was The Hunter. The Hunter came out, and it was an MMO-style shooter, and it was a lot of fun, but it was riddled with microtransactions. Too much so, and I, I just couldn't get into it. Well, they finally released The Hunter Call of the Wild, which is like the single-player variant of The Hunter. That just came out here, I think, within the last like year or so, and I love it. I play it all the time. It's a really fun game. It's a blast. It is gorgeous. I could just walk around in that game at the end of a long day at work just to, just to relax and, and calm down. It is just an awesome hunting game. It has your windage. It has bullet drop. It has great animal animations. It's very challenging. It's a lot of fun. It's not perfect. It's got some bugs in it, but it's it's a great game. Well, Deer Hunter Reloaded was a game I had downloaded on my, my phone. I played it on Android, and I think it was just called Deer Hunter, and there was, I think, like another year after the title or whatever, but I recognized it, and it's made by Glue, G-L-U. The problem with Deer Hunter on Android is, is that they were stationary. Most of them were stationary shooters that were arcade style and just also filled with microtransactions. They just wanted you to buy better, better guns all the time. So when I saw this game, it looked like they had revamped it a little bit and made it more of a hunt, like a real hunting game, but it was $20. <laughs> so I thought, let's give it a shot. So we'll jump in here. I do want to show you something. The settings in this game are actually pretty fleshed out, which I was like, yes, it looks like they put some effort and energy into this. And there's lots of different app options here. Audio, controls, so that's pretty nice. The, it's weird how you will be stuck with this Xbox style uh, controls on your screen here. I'm using mouse and keyboard right now. But the thing is, just know that you just hit the corresponding letter on your keyboard and it will do the same thing. And if it shows the little um, menu symbol for Xbox, that's enter on your keyboard. So there's a hunting lodge. And if you go there, you can see the weapons you've unlocked, some of your bigger trophies. Uh, so again, they've put in a little bit of, of time, effort, and, and energy here. Rifles and shotguns, trophies, and you can go to the different... It'll just show the biggest one that you've gotten so far. It's not anything too in-depth, but it's, it's a nice little addition. Alright, yes. So then you will get missions from these still frame headshots. They'll tell you what you're supposed to do next and you will listen to them and right now I'm supposed to get mountain goats okay and then begin hunt you rank up just from from um, getting clean kills for animals that you have been told to to get and then as you rank up you can purchase new firearms there's not as many as I expected there to be there's quite a few rifles but um, there's only like three shotguns one pair of binoculars that can be upgraded you can go prone, you can crouch, and you can stand upright. There is no sprint, there is no jump. You can hold left shift to hold your breath and help stop some of your reticle sway. And there is no any, there's no like the wind blowing your scent towards the animals in this game. Ah, here we go. And here's the main problem with this game. 
doesn't matter too much where you shoot the animals. It's more interested in how much damage you're racking up. You can get headshots. It is possible. Uh, but very difficult. You'll do a perfect heart shot, spine shot. Um, right in the eye. You know, things that would normally take an animal down perfectly. And in this game, nope. Sorry. You didn't do enough damage. So I don't, I don't like that aspect of it at all. And I can't go any further than this. I'm stuck right here. Oh man, I fired way behind him. And it's weird because normally I want to lead my shots, so I'm trying to not lead my shots. This is the kind of game where where you where your reticle is aimed is where you're gonna hit. That's it. So if you're used to trying to lead your shots, don't bother. And that's it. You sit here with infinite ammunition and rack up kills. It's pretty soul crushing. <laughs> it's not a hunting game at all. Um, they'll sit there and be like, oh, you see those white, fluffy, cute little sheep? Shoot them, because one of them tried to headbutt me once. <laughs> it's like, what? Are you serious right now? Um, or, hey, go kill a dozen deer. Don't worry, we're going to eat them. But then you never collect the bodies or anything. It's just, there's an absurdity to the game. It, it like, kind of tries to take itself seriously, but it shouldn't at all. Um, they should have just done, like, round begin. And, you know, that kind of thing. Like, it just should have been straight up arcade. I'm looking for these little puff balls. None of these guys have antlers. How about you guys? Yeah, and the deer do the exaggerated, like, death animations. And it just... Okay, that was weird. Oh, they moved. I want you to pay attention, too, to the background right now when I zoom out. Like, it looks terrible. Like, the fog and just... The game is not a pretty game at all. I shot too high. It's hard to get invested in this game, though. Like, where is a real hunting game, I would be taking my time, crawling, you know, just being as slow as possible. In this, because there's, there's no... Uh, there's no ammunition, and then they just stop running because, yeah, you just didn't see, like, tons of your fellow compatriots just get gunned down. No, we're, we're good. I'm sure I'm sure the threat is over. Uh, you guys don't have horns. And then there's the fact, too, that you can actually leave the area. Like, right now, I am probably... No, I'm not stuck. Can't go down there. You can go out of the area that the game wants you to stay in. It'll just be this big red warning. Turn back. Turn back. And then you got like six seconds to turn back. But there's tons of ways for you to get out of the area you're supposed to be in. Can't go through those flowers because you can't. Like, let's see. There is no jump button. And that is to try to prevent you from going where you're not supposed to go. Um, but it doesn't really work. There's just, there's whole bunches of areas where you can escape. And then you can even fall outside of the area you're supposed to be in. And then you're stuck. And then it's game over. Even if you weren't trying to, like. Wow, I didn't even know I could go through there. So there we go. We're through. You can't, you can't go across the water, though, at all. Yeah, that's a, that's a dead stop for you. I didn't even know I could go through there. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference because you can go up top there to the head of the cliff and just shoot from there. But still, there's at least a little bit of area for you to go. Um, some of the maps have larger areas that you can go. Um, I say explore, but they're just kind of big flat areas. And we already took all of the game here that has antlers because that's how this game works. If it has antlers, you can shoot it. If it doesn't, you can still shoot it, and there's no penalty. You just don't make any money. All right, so we'll we'll just do this one really quick. Like I said, hit enter to start the game up. So at twenty dollars, is this game worth it? Absolutely not. Nope. This game's subpar in every way. Uh, there is nothing to this game that merits a twenty dollar price tag. Is there lots of content? Sure, but you're going to be doing the same thing over and over and over and over. There are some uh, predator-style animals that you'll come across later in the game. 
and those predators it's just like oh no they're out there further out and the predators put up a little bit of a challenge and a fight for you but it's it's just boring guys it's it, it's really it's very mindless if you're looking for a mindless game that's just going to let you you know be a shooting gallery for you but eh, maybe maybe you'd be interested in it for me personally no no it's it's not worth it at all um at five dollars this might be a fun title just to mess around with and seriously just be one of those games where you just boot it up just to just to shoot at stuff just to point and click that's it but uh it's not it's nothing more than that and it's just it's just dull it's boring and ugly and that's the main things so there's just nothing there's other games out there that do a better job oh here they are got one Come on, antlers. Got two. Woo! Dude, that was legit. Every Keep time they up. talk, it makes me angry. Dude, hitting an animal's lungs isn't as good as a heart shot, but it's still better than missing the vitals completely. Got a wolf. None of those guys have antlers. Neither do you. Neither do you. And that's it. You complete your mission. Yay. And then you quit. And then you do it again somewhere else. And that guy will talk to you. Or another guy will talk to you. And all of those, you, you wish those guys were out there running around so you could take aim at them. Kidding. But it's just it's super obnoxious. Kill one elk. And you just keep doing it over and over. And then you get a new gun. So you can do the same thing you've been doing with a different gun. It, just don't bother, guys. It's just, it's not, it's really not worth the price of admission. And I had really hoped that they were going to, like, surprise everybody. Like, people were like, oh, no, it's, you know, it's that game by glue. This is going to be terrible. And I was like, well, who knows? Maybe they put some time and money. Maybe they're trying to break into the PC market. Maybe, maybe I'm an idiot. Yep, that's what it ended up being. I'm just an idiot. So. No, there's there's just nothing redeeming here. And, like I said, if you just want a straight-up shooting gallery, eh, maybe, for $5, wait for a sale. Throw in your wish list and wait for that sale. But, I'd say go for, if you're looking for a, um, a hunting simulator, go for the Hunter Call of the Wild. If you're looking for a hunting arcade shooter, there are a couple of the Cabela's ones that are kind of guilty pleasures, kind of fun. Um, I'd say go for those. Mm, I need, need antlers. Okay. And I hate to say it, but one of the things you'll learn to do is you'll just learn to kind of wound the ones that you're interested in so that they move slowly. And that's it. That's all she wrote. And then you quit. And you just keep doing this ad nauseum. So that's pretty much going to do it for me, guys. I definitely am not going to be playing any more of this game. This is not one that I'm interested in. If you guys are interested in it, let me know why in the comment section below or what you thought I missed. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep looking for, if you guys want me to play some good arcade shooters, hunting shooters, or uh, good hunting simulators just to show you guys, I could do a video of like the top three good ones, the top three bad ones from each genre, you know, arcade versus simulator, just let me know in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to try to put together something like that for you guys. But uh, yeah, no, that's going to do it for today. I appreciate all you guys stopping by, and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. Game on, everyone.